Do you ever auto aim with Colt? What are your pro tips for Colt? There are a lot of different ways that you can use his super. What are the best ways to do so? In your opinion, mm -hmm. how strong is Colt? How about brawlers that Colt counters? How do you win a Colt off? <laughs> Common mistakes you see other people playing Colt as. How important is it as Colt to conserve your shots? Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Carlos Time and it is time to brawl. Now today we've got a very special guest here. We have the number one cult player in the world. How you doing, Johnny boy? I'm doing good. How are you? Very good. Now guys, when I start these videos, a lot of the times I'm like, yeah, hey, I've got the number one player. Like they got number one last season um, and like very skilled players. But I don't think that there is anybody that would claim to be a better cult player than you. Has somebody tried uh... to say, hey, I'm better cult than you? <laughs> Well, some people have, like, kind of jokingly, but yeah. mostly people just say, like, you're God, and like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, that's what I was gonna say, guys. Oh, man, seriously, Johnny Boy is known for being... Your skills for Colt are just unbelievable. Anytime... I mean, we're gonna show gameplay in this video of, of him playing Colt, and you guys will see, I mean... It blows my mind away. So for you guys that are like saying you're like, oh, 1000 trophies, that's only double of 500. Like, you know, anybody could do that. It's actually way harder than you think. Okay, this is a huge accomplishment. Johnny boy, what's <laughs> different about pushing up to 500 versus pushing up to 1000 trophies? You gain way less trophies, you gain plus two, and then you lose like more than if you were at 500, you lose seven. So if you win one and then you lose one, then it takes three or it takes four matches for you to come up on top after that. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. So in order for you to get to 1000, you have to have an incredibly high win to loss uh, ratio. So that's the yeah. first thing. What's the second big reason why this is such a big accomplishment? Um, the match making takes, it can take from like five to like eight minutes long. So like each Every loss match. is like really devastating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is so frustrating. That's a half an hour for every loss that you have. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> okay. And then obviously you're getting paired up against like the best players in the world right now. Um, yeah. So that makes a huge difference as well. So guys, 1000 trophies, that is a huge deal. Um, let's, these tips that we're going to go over here, this, this is huge. So let's, let's go ahead and jump into those. Let's talk about the game modes that he's good in. We're going to quickly go through each of the game modes and you're going to tell me whether he's good in that game mode or he's not good in that game mode. And we're not talking about like God tier level. Like obviously you can play yeah. Colt War wherever <laughs> it'd be just fine. <laughs> we're talking yeah. like competitive level for most, uh, competitive players. So first of all, gem grab. Is he good in general? Uh, not, not really. Uh, maybe like a few maps that have like open lanes that he can mm. shoot down pretty well against like sides, but mostly yeah. not. Cool. Um, solo showdown? Uh, he can be good, but like sometimes for most maps, there's too many walls for him to. Like, yeah. Right now, Leon is kind of just dominates Colt yeah. in solo showdown. I'd say. Uh, beforehand, yeah. I would say he's a little bit better when there was more teaming in showdown, but that's not. Yeah. Um, how about duo showdown? Uh, yeah, he can be good there. Okay. How about Heist? Yes, definitely. Would you say that Heist is his best uh, mode? Uh, yeah. I think it's like like a little bit above Brawl Ball. A little bit above Brawl Ball. So obviously he's good in Brawl Ball then. Yes. Um, and how about Bounty? Um, he can be used there, but there's better options. Okay. Okay. So now let's say I just barely unlocked Colt because I'm a new player um, and I jump into a match with him and I'm like, man, he... <laughs> There are easier brawlers. I think it's, you should start off with like Shelly, who's like super easy auto aim, but Colt requires a lot more skill than that. What would be the first tip that you would give to a new player uh, who wants to uh, learn the ropes with Colt? Um, try and like make sure you don't auto aim from far away because okay. you will like not hit like any shots at all. Okay, I like that. Do you ever like I I use auto aim with Colt when I'm close up, but do you ever auto aim with Colt? Um. Only sometimes if I'm like not hitting shots up close or yeah. if it's like a very uh, close situ like intense situation. Like an El Primo and coming up on I mean, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's your advice for auto aim? Just like don't ever do it on Colt basically? Well, you can do it if like people are running at you and mm -hmm. it's just like way easier to hit them than trying to aim all the time. Aim most of the time, I'd say probably. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm putting words in your mouth. Uh, <laughs> who's the pro here, Kairos? How about somebody that's been playing Colt and maybe they're struggling, they want to get into 500, maybe they want to push a little bit past that. What are your pro tips for Colt? Okay, so like when you're trying to hit shots, you you try to move in the same direction as like your opponent. Okay. So then 
it's yeah it's like when you move right and they move right then it's you're most likely to hit more shots than if you were like moving left and they're moving right. so i like to call that the dance the brawl stars dance <laughs> colt is a good dancer so you should play him like he's a dancer <laughs> <laughs> and you guys will see that gameplay here that we've got going on in the background as well a lot where maybe not right this second but you'll see you'll see him how he just like dances with the enemy player um, and when you're when you first fire off how much do you pay attention to the enemy player like do you like watch them exactly and then have insane reflexes or do you just like plan on how they're going to move is that like how do you have um, so many hot hits so sometimes it's just like reflexes once I see them like move to the side but I, if like I'm far away, I usually have it already aimed up and like okay. uh, ready. So you predict where they're going, and then you yeah. let reflexes take over afterward. See, what I do is I don't predict where they're going, and then my reflexes mess me up. So I like that at ice. That's good. <laughs> yeah. What's the best way to use Colt's attack? Down straight lanes. If like people can't really move that much, because then you can uh, hit more shots if they can't like move out of the way of it. Okay, so you're looking for those choke points then? Yeah, choke points. So is Colt better off in like a lane that's kind of closed off? Um, or is it like he better when it's like a wide open map? Yeah, so I got some maps like say in Heist, she's like way better with uh, choke points, I think. And then mm -hmm. with like Brawl Ball, I think he's better with the open map because mm -hmm. the different brawler choices. That's a really good point, actually. There are a lot of different ways that you can use his super. What are the best ways to do so? So uh probably breaking walls to the safe and like try and get some a brawler with it as well oh, okay. and, and then for like draw ball mostly breaking walls but also try and get somebody obviously the best situation is you use your super on a player on a wall and on the safe all at the same time right <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's say we have to split those into three different situations so you either use your super on a player or you use it on the wall or you get to use it on the safe um, which I know typically you use it on the wall and the safe. But let's just say you had to choose between those three. Um, what would be your choice? Well, if like the safe is, if it doesn't have that much health, then I would use it on the safe. But if it has like pretty high HP, then I would use it on the player. Is it worth using a super on just the walls? Yeah, if like you have, uh, if you have teammates that can benefit from it, then it's like definitely beneficial. Okay. So what kind of brawlers would benefit from that then? Probably like a, a tank, like maybe Daryl, Mm -hmm. Or I guess like oh Daryl, that's a really good point because he yeah. he doesn't have that charge through like Bull does, but he gets to use his super way more frequently. So having that open actually makes a big difference. And barley because then there's another choke point that people can go th like go through, and if they go through that, then barley can just like hit the safe and then like usually. No, that's really solid. I wasn't thinking about the throwers because they can throw over walls, but you're yeah. absolutely right. Like if you open up that middle, like the enemy players, they always go through the middle. So yeah, <laughs> it's like really good for a thrower right there. Okay. I like that. That's really solid. What do you think about his star power? Like, do you think it's a good star power? Like how OP is it? Um, well, compared to not having it, you can hit like, it just feels like you can hit way more shots because you can move faster and it just helps you get like, if you like missed a shot without a star power, you couldn't really hit any of the other shots behind it. But if you're moving faster than your opponent, then some of those shots might clip the opponent after. Okay. Uh, cool, that's awesome. I love it. How strong is Colt, okay? Uh, and the, the reason why I ask <laughs> is because he's kind of been a weaker brawler for a long time, but I would say mostly weak because most people haven't reached that potential. In your mm -hmm. opinion, how strong is Colt? He's like, Kind of toward the middle of the pack of like, and because most brawlers they they can be like good on uh, like different modes and stuff, but yeah, he he's good on like two modes or like two or three modes, but he's just not like the best option. Mm. Like some brawlers can, are like really good for two two modes or like one mode. Yeah, so he's probably in the middle. So he's kind of like generally okay on yeah. the, a couple of modes. Um, and he's also kind of high skill cap. <laughs> so, yeah. do you think that he needs a buff? Um, I feel like maybe his range like a tiny bit, uh, mm. just because like some brawler like he just uh, gets kind of like the same range as like Terra yeah. and Pam, and like they just have so much more health and mm -hmm. can kind of just like keep him back. I, I also think that Pam and Terra like they have more advantage like up close than Colt does. Like it's pretty yeah, easy to yeah. juke. Cold shots uh, than 
you know, up close. Anyway, that's another story. Um, what other brawlers counter Colt? Say other long range brawlers like Brock and uh, Spike can, oh, yeah. if like, if there's walls. Probably Piper as well. Yeah, Piper as well. And it's just so hard for Colt to like close that distance when they have so. Yeah. They, they just deal so much damage from a distance, and then Colt like gets in there and he's like, ouch, I want my mommy. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say like mid-range brawlers. Uh, if you can hit shots on them, then you you they like don't uh, you can't they can't really uh, counter you as well. But if they can get close to you, then it's it's kind of hard. Um, how about brawlers that Colt counters? Um, I'd say brawlers with kind of low HP like Barley, Dynamite, hmm. uh, Rico. If if he's like in range, or and, even like Crow. Yeah, crow. And then uh, tanks as well because they can't get if you if they don't can't get close to you. Yeah, yeah. Colt is actually really good against tanks. I like that. How do you deal with a one v one Leon? Uh, you have to really try and peek like shots as much as you can because if he gets like an indirect uh, combat with you, then you're pretty much dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you avoid charging up that super as much as you yeah. can. <laughs> I feel like it's always a heated battle when I'm Colt and I'm playing <laughs> against another Colt. Like the, I don't know that any other moment in Brawl Stars gets more intense than that. <laughs> how do you how do you win a Colt off? <laughs> um, you gotta like keep switching off like how you're moving because if they if they like figure out which direction you're gonna move next, then they can win it probably. But if you like keep going like left and then move right right when, right when they shoot and then they think you're gonna move back left but then you just keep moving right then mm. uh, you can probably win it so it's just movement so that's actually some feedback that we hear a lot from pro players on this channel is actually switching up your movement patterns that's a that's a reoccurring theme and it does and i i would definitely agree with colt that's actually really important especially in those colt offs <laughs> yeah. Okay, so one question that I have is what is like a um, common mistakes you see other people playing Colt as? Probably like auto aiming if there's like a bear near you or like tar Terra mm -hmm. Shadow. And also like you don't always want to go for a pull, like let's say Jesse. You don't always go, go for the Jesse if there's a turret up. You, you, want, you always want to take out the turret like first. Yeah. Oh, another question I have for you is how important is it as Colt to conserve your shots? For the most part. It doesn't really matter, but like you don't want to just spam uh, three shots like at a wall if like somebody's behind it. You want to like mm -hmm. make sure you like uh, do it in moderation. Like try and peek shot them if they like come out. You want to try and hit them right when they come out because you hit most shots if like they don't see it coming. Not as important as other brawlers, but obviously you don't want to just like spam the shots. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for jumping on here, guys. Absolutely go check um, out Johnny Boy over on Twitter. He does have a Twitter account right there where he kind of like shares updates and stuff like that. You definitely want to check him out there. And then Johnny Boy, do you have any shout outs you'd like to give to anybody that uh, um, for the before we end this video? I'd like to give a shout out to Patrick Pirate and Master Waller for being my pushing partner for both seasons. They got 1K. And for Tribe for being a great organization for me. I'd also <laughs> give a shout out to my OG friends Off The Bean, OGBN, Man Ray, Just Insane, and Ice Spike. Anyways, guys, a huge thank you to you for coming onto the channel, Johnny Boy. I uh, really do appreciate it. And guys, I wanted to give a huge thank you to you for watching this video as well. If you do have any questions, feel free to drop in the comment section below and let me know which brawlers you would like to see pro gameplay and a pro interview of in the future. I also wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support the channel in such a big way. And for now, this is Kairos Time and Johnny Boy ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.